how do I create custom collision shapes using 3ds max? Well, we are already inside of Unreal Editor. I'm going to jump over to 3ds Max, and we have a mesh that we'd like to import as a static mesh. But if we just import it as it is right now, it will have no collision model. And we'd have to go in and use the collision tools inside of the static mesh editor to give it some sort of collision. The problem with doing that is it's very tricky to get precise co uh, collisions that are as efficient as they possibly could be. Much better if we design our collision system here inside of Max. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start off by creating a cylinder, and let's start drawing this out in the top view. And uh, it doesn't align up with the base right now, which is fine. We'll just force it to. We'll grab the align tool click on our little capsule shape, and I'll do everything but Z position. So it'll stay anchored down there to the bottom and click OK. Now, if we take a look here in the side view, what I have is a very simple six sided cylinder that's surrounding the bottom most area of my uh, capsuloid shape. Let's maybe pull down on the height just a little bit to get it away from that uh, central kind of extruded area. Now I'm going to hold down shift and put a copy of this up on top as well. And now I want another copy in the middle, so I'll just shift drag this down, and then we'll change some of its properties. So we'll increase our radius. In fact, it'd probably be safer to do this inside the top view. We can have this penetrate a little bit if we want to. It's not gonna hurt anything. So we'll get it kind of midway so it's not quite sticking all the way out. That'll keep our object from looking like it floats from time to time. And then let's go back into the side view and we'll adjust our height accordingly. Now, I'm going to make sure that it's not touching either the top or bottom of the uh, other collision cylinders. We're going to make these touch, but you don't really want them to interpenetrate into each other. So let's take our middlemost cylinder. We'll convert this over to an editable poly. I'll press the one key to access vertices. Now, I need to snap this to the bottom of the upper cylinder. So let's check my snap settings real quick. I'll right click. We want to snap to vertices. Go over to my options. Make sure that use axis constraints and use axis center as start snap point are both active. And I'll start to drag these vertices up and then hit the S key and drag over to any one of the vertices on my upper collision surface. Hit S to deactivate snapping. Marquee select the vertices on the bottom. We'll start moving them. While moving, hold down the S key and drag right on top of one of our other vertices here on the bottom most collision mesh, and we're done. Let's get out of uh, sub-object mode. We'll hit Alt-W to jump back to our perspective window. Now, the important thing that you cannot forget is that your custom collision surfaces require a special naming convention. Basically, you've got to put a prefix in front of their name and that prefix is UCX. So instead of this being cylinder two, let's call it UCX underscore top. The next one will be UCX underscore middle. And then finally, UCX underscore bottom. And it doesn't really matter what you name them as long as they have that UCX prefix at the beginning. Now let's grab everything all at once. We'll go to file, Export selected, and let's give this a name. We'll call this, uh, let's see, capsule with collision. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about what gets exported, but make sure that materials, mesh normals, and mapping coordinates are active, as well as mesh division. Let's click OK. Let's jump back over to Unreal. I'll right-click here inside my generic browser. Actually, I'm sorry, we're not right-clicking. We're going to File, Import. And there's our capsule with collision. Let's go ahead and click open. And it looks like everything's going to be all right. Let's take, change our group over to meshes. And we'll hit OK. Now, it's going to warn me that I have no material reference, so it's applying the default texture. And that'll do that for all four of my objects, and four being the main model itself and then the three collision models. So let's click OK four times. And then over inside of the meshes group, we get capsule with collision. Notice we don't get the no collision warning. If we double click on this object, we can visualize its collision by clicking the show collision button. And there are all three of our collision meshes already in place and set to go. And that is how you create custom collisions inside of 3ds Max, which wraps up this how do I video.